one day, well, like when I made all that money, like immediately, yeah, I partied a lot. I was traveling, hanging out, you know, doing my thing. But I'm gonna be honest with you, like, um, I just created the name Wesley Million Dollar Virgin. Like, I'm I'm a firm believer in your affirmations. Like every car I have, my Lamborghini, it says King West. My G wagon, I have a four by four G wagon. It says a billion, right? Uh, all like everything that I embody, I always use affirmations. So I said, Wesley, million dollar, billion dollar virgin. I said over and over again, because con unconsciously I'm picking this stuff up. So I just one day I just created it, man. I'll be honest with you, just out of the blue. I wake up in the morning. I'm grateful to God, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like all praise to the most high, God's the greatest. Uh, I'm just grateful and I go to the gratitude and I think about I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my kids, my mom, my dad, my brother. Uh, I'm grateful for people that watch me around the world. Then I meditate for 30 minutes and I just clear my mind and visualize my day. Then uh, my maid usually comes in and she tells me to get up, get my ass out of this bed here. And my chef has my, my food cooked for me, my breakfast. Then uh, I jump into one of my cars, maybe the Lamborghini. And, uh, I just speed down West Timer, a street here in Houston, Texas. And uh, yeah, I, I go there and uh, go to the gym. I work this body out, bro. I mean, health is the beginning of wealth. You gotta take care of yourself. Um, I go to the spa maybe one time per week. Massages, faces, nails. Um, I come back, have my food ready for me that my chef has prepared. And then after that, man, I meditate and I may have a couple of meetings with the team. And, you know, depending on if I need to travel, if I need to do a speaking engagement, whatever. But my day is pretty simple, very structured, but um, it's very rewarding as well. Doing the visualization process, what I'm doing is... I am taking the ideals or the things that I want to take place. One thing about me um, that you'll notice as you get to know me more is I really focus on the outcome. Like even when I work out, like I'm not, I don't go to the gym and think about, oh, my muscles hurt, I'm sore, my back hurt. No, I really see, even before I work out, I visualize my workout in advance. I see myself working out, I see my muscles increasing. Same thing with money and business, even with women, man, everything in my life. Um, I really create it in my mind like I can see it, like I can see it. Um, I use my olfactory skills where I can, um, I can hear it, I can touch it, um, I can taste it. And I do this over and over again, right? Anything that I do and those ideals eventually are going to become physical, which means it's, they're going to be manifested in the physical world. I wouldn't say it's a trend, but I'm very excited that right now, young people, especially millennials and centennials, they're starting to embrace this concept. <laughs> How about your mind truly does create your reality? You know, like thoughts are really things like you. We really we're already doing it. Right. We're just doing it unconsciously. And I'm just excited because I get so many messages in my inbox of just young people, 13 year olds, 14 year olds, man. They're like, man, what's you changed my life? You know, my parents don't know shit. They don't even understand. It. They tell me what I can't do. They tell me, right? And I'm explaining to them where they understand that um, that you really can and you are. You're already creating a reality. You know, reality is perceptual, but everything that you're thinking about and emotionalizing is creating your world, believe it or not. meditation like i really really i engage my parasympathetic nervous system man all the time and all it is it's just resting right resting the mind right slowing down putting myself into what is called alpha state so i can see things clearly here and sometimes going to theta state so i can uh, strategically program my subconscious mind to give me the result that i want here I'm really good at that so one habit is definitely meditation daily get clear like don't focus so much on the money even though i know that's what people want but don't focus too much about the money um i would tell a man a young person young woman a young man in their 20s say you know what what i want you to do is this take out a sheet of paper and i want you to ask yourself this one question what do you want that's it it sounds so simplistic because that that's called intention right 
uh, many people have whims. They just have like, oh, I want this. I want a car. Oh, I want a Chanel purse now. Oh, I want a house now. I, you know, I want to be a millionaire. Oh, right. Um, and it just happens every day. This happens continually based off what's going on in their environment. So what I would tell the younger West is, man, get clear about what you want for your life. Don't think about money. Just how do you want to wake up every day? Like, what do you want to do? That that your mind really creates your reality. Some people just, you know, I got some people that are multimillionaires that uh, believe that this is like, <laughs> that what I'm saying is just too metaphysical. Oh, come on, Wesley. Uh, you you got to take action too. Well, that's obvious, right? But every thought, right? Think about it, man. Um, like, even this water bottle, bro. I mean, come on now. It started with somebody's thought. Even this building, this building that I'm standing, it's a $100 million building. Somebody had a, had a thought first before they can materialize. But you have other people all over the world. Mine is not everything. You got to work hard. I don't believe in working hard. I don't believe in that shit. That's stupid. I'm going to be honest with you. The less I work, the more money I make personally. Okay? I think it's a, a very obsolescent principle about working harder to make my money. It makes no sense at all, right? I don't I don't believe that. A lot of people can't believe it because especially in the Western civilization, we're just so married to like, no, I have to work hard. I gotta get up. I gotta grind, right? It's so like inundated in our brains, right? Uh but yeah, other parts of the world like India, I've been there, Bali, I've been there. I mean, you know, these other people have different uh, principles of how things work and what we really want in um, other strategies that I use personally. Self affirmations, I do that, and I meditate. I mean, be honest with you, just you gotta meditate. I know it sounds so like esoteric and just crazy, right? But this meditation is powerful. It, when you understand the brain, you'll realize how powerful it is. You know, most people are in what is called beta state. Beta state is like right now we're talking, I'm talking, you're listening to me. At the same time, you see this blue thing. You're engaged, but at the same time, you could be thinking about, oh, I got to go. Where's she talking too much, right? Most people are in high beta. That's why they stress. I don't stress, never. I've never stressed in the past 10 years. I don't have a stressful day or stressful moment, right? Even though that might sound very like, what? Yeah, like you can't believe that, but it's true, okay? It's because you're in high beta. Because at the same time that you're trying to work on something, you're thinking about home. When at home, you're thinking about work, right? I've already trained myself that when I'm doing something, I am there. Like when I'm with my children, I am there 100%. When I'm when I'm working, I'm there 100%. When I'm with the woman, <laughs> the girl, or whatever girl that I'm dealing with at the time, I'm with her. Like there, I'm not thinking about flat tires. I'm not thinking about the business, Facebook ads. Oh, I lost money. And I think I've really trained my mind how to really focus effectively here. Man, it was mindfulness. It was pure consciousness um, to grow my business. You know, I know it sounds crazy, man. You may know, Wesley, come on, I just meditate. But it really did. Like, it's, it's really working for me. Because even when you use the word grow your business, right? I don't think it's just like one thing anyway. But I think what well, most important, anything that you're trying to excel at, you have to be able to calm your mind down, right? Because people get irritated. I know people that get irritated because they're not making $100,000 a month or $10,000 a month or two. they They're like, oh, it's not working. I'm irritated. Why can't I level up? I only did $100 million. I want to do $200 million. I don't know. I think we give ourselves so much pain. Right. About goals that we're not hitting. I don't do that. Be honest with you. Gratitude, man. That's my strategy. Gratitude. It works because in gratitude, you really can't be irritated, angry, upset about something not happening. I'm always grateful for those things that will happen. Everything. I believe everything that takes place in my life is a stepping stone for me to get to the next level. That's going to take me to places that I can't even imagine. I mean, maybe when I lost my car, when I got home from from work and uh, they locked me out of my place, that was in my early 20s. Uh, I went to go stay with my friend. I got up and my car was gone. But I'm going to be honest, even at that time, man, I just got on the bus. I don't know. What else would I do? 
Like I've never like I'm never gonna cry and put myself in this dark, terrible place. Like never. That's insane to me. I knew I wouldn't always be there. Okay. You know, maybe it was tough. Maybe I had to eat some ramen noodles or peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Uh, you know, maybe I had to take the bus. But to be honest with you, I just always saw where I could go rather than where I was where I was at currently here. Uh, I just had ability to do that even when I was young. I say, man, you know what? This is I'm on a bus just temporarily, right? <laughs> I'm eating these noodles temporarily. It's not a big deal to me. Like I have no furniture in my house. This is temporarily, but I'm excited, right? So, uh, man, I overcome failures by reframing them. I don't believe a failure can actually take place unless you say that you're a failure, right? So I think once you label something as a failure, then that's what it is, right? It's a limitation to you. I don't think anything is a limitation. Any mistake I've ever made in my life, it's just for me to become the person or the man that I am here today. I have something that's called the seven millionaire mind hacks. I give those for free uh, and I can give you access to that as well. It's just videos. I'll show people step by step how to start the process of um, getting wealthy, getting rich, to be honest with you. Uh, I paid a hundred bucks for a book on Amazon. It was a mindset book. It was powerful though. I can't remember the name of the book, but I think the best hundred dollars I've ever spent is just getting information and knowledge to apply it to change my world, man, to be honest with you. I, I don't really believe in all that stuff, you know, all that, you know, okay. I know people have all this stuff about taskers, to do organization, and my, my life is different. Like I don't live my life by a task. I don't have to do's. If I don't make a commitment, then so what to me? I don't know. I don't I don't run my life like that. Like when I get up in the morning, I do exactly what I want to do. Okay. Um, if something's pre-scheduled, then I, I knock it out. But I don't live my life by like a task or a calendar telling me like what to do, what not to do. You got to do this. I don't know. I don't do that. I kind of live freely here. So um, I don't use any software or web service to be more productive. Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself by Dr. Joe Dispenza. Go get that book. Everybody should read that book. Young people should read that book. Um, it really breaks down the science as how the mind works and how why people um, create habits that they don't understand. The reason why they uh, can't be motivated, the reason why they're not dedicated or when they start something, they quit and why they get upset for no reason and why different triggers emotionally happen to them that kicks them out of the game for, you know, two months, two weeks, whatever. It's a great book to get. And life, you don't get what you want. You get what you picture, which means is everybody wants something, right? Want, want, want. But whatever is picturing in your mind, picture kind of means like your belief. If you don't believe you can get it, it never happens. It doesn't matter about want. You have to be able to picture something different that's possible for your life. One, it's your mindset. Everything starts here. The inceptions of your mind, like everything begins in the mind. Every thought, everything that you are holding your hand is going to start here. Remember that. Two, be flexible. Okay. You got to be flexible in business and life. Don't take life too seriously. I see life as a game, which means is just don't take it so seriously. Be flexible. Just understand that some of your beliefs, maybe what you believe this year, you need to change them. Uh, next year. And the last one is very simple. Believe in you. Like work on a belief in yourself. Okay. I got a program that talks about this. Just believe in you. Work on your belief. Build up your belief about you and what's possible for you in your life. Okay. Um, I think if you work on believing in yourself instead of believe, it's not wrong with believing in God, Buddha, the Quran, the this on, the Badan, you know, whatever. But learn to believe in you. Okay, because at the end of the day, you are all you have, right? The more certainty and that you can have for yourself, man, you have power over your world. So work on your beliefs and you. Validate yourself. Tell yourself you look amazing, right? Tell yourself that you're great.